Hello, this is Eric at Prince George Ford, and we're taking a look at the 2022 Ford Edge in an SEL trim and powered by a 2-liter EcoBoost engine, providing you with excellent power and fuel efficiency with all-wheel drive capabilities, so you're going to be able to get around pretty well, but let's take a look inside. First, looking into the back, we have a nice power lift gate that opens up and out of the way for you, revealing your cargo area, which can always be expanded by folding down your rear seats, and you have buttons to do so from back here with a 12-volt, and underneath this cover, you have your spare tire with some large compartments around it for extra storage and this closes again with another simple press of a button. Then looking into the back we have comfortable seating for three with a nice ActiveX interior, fold out armrests and two cup holders in the middle as well as a 110 volt USB and USB-C. And this vehicle does have a remote start, so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your car. Looking in, you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks, as well as a fully power adjustable driver's seat. Now sitting in the vehicle with it running and looking at the steering wheel, on the right hand side you have your hands-free phone and radio controls, as well as your controls for your right screen, where you can enter your entertainment and phone controls. And moving on to the left, you have your cruise controls, as well as your controls for your left screen, where you can access your digital speedometer, all-wheel drive status, distance to empty, RPMs, RPMs and oil temperature, tire pressures, then you go into your trip 1 and 2 information, fuel economy, driver assistance settings and features, and then settings for your screen and some other features around your vehicle. Uh, but then moving on further, you do also have your lane keeping system on the end of your signal stock. And moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is radio Sirius and Bluetooth capable, so you have some options there, as well as Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and then you have uh, built-in games, so you can play something to kill the time while you're waiting, obviously not while you're driving, and in the top left you have your more of your vehicle settings, you can kind of go through that, shifting into reverse, you do have a backup camera, so you can see where you're going, with dynamic hitch view, so you can have an easier time hooking up a small trailer or something, uh, considering this vehicle does have a class 2 trailer hitch. Moving down, you have your climate controls with dual zone front climate, heated front seats, and a heated steering wheel so you can stay comfortable. Moving down further, you have your media controls as well as your hazards, max defrost, and your camera view again. Further down, you have this cubby here with a wireless charging pad, so if your phone's compatible, throw it on there to charge with a USB and USB-C. Behind all of this, you have another cubby area, as well as having a 12 volt in the passenger leg area. Then you have your main shifter here on a dial, very simple, easy to use, as well as having paddle shifters on the steering wheel, so you can manually shift through your gears. You have your parking brake, two cup holders, slot for your phone or otherwise, uh, auto start stop shut off, another little slot there and then your center compartment slash armrest with a removable tray ton of room inside for all of your stuff but that should cover our look at the interior so now if you're interested come visit us at prince george ford pg4.ca or call 250-563-8111 and have a nice day